When you hear the phrase, you're a national champion, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I still really can't believe it because it's something that I really have always talked about ever since I've been in high school. It's like, I will do it. Talking to college like recruits, it's, I just told them on the phone, like, I, want it. I will be a national champion. Um, so to actually put it into play and knowing that it actually happened, still kind of mind-blowing to me right now. So, and I know there's still a lot left on the table, like I'm not done. It was really, uh, it was really something to see, something out of that, but you know, in Indiana, a school like that had that kind of, and, and from, you know, Little Rushville, Indiana to, uh, to the top of the incident of Lake Podium, it's pretty impressive stuff. Janelle, how has the last 72 hours been for you? This has been pretty amazing, even though um, I don't think it really sunk in yet. We came into the competition ranked 21st, then just to have a lot of personal bests and PRs, and it was just a great experience and just kind of unexpected, but such an exciting moment. When you say unexpected, what do you mean? Um, I put a lot of pressure on myself, and so um, there's times where I don't believe in myself or I just don't expect that, oh, this is going to work out that way, but I'm lucky to have such a great support system, coaches, the trainers, um, teammates especially, who have really believed in me and allowed me to raise above what I believe I can do with myself. How does, how does that belief feel right now? It feels pretty great, actually. When you're walking up to the high jump, what's your thought process? What's going through your mind? Well, most of it is visualizing, and the rest of the time, I'm kind of just not thinking about it as well. But when I get to the line and when I know I'm about to go, I try to think in each and every step. When I visualize, I think about me clearing the bar, not just by a little bit, by I have to envision myself clearing it by like a foot. And that honestly helps a lot because I visualize each and every step. We had a conversation after the, the MAC championship, and you know, she went, oh man, Listen, you're just putting too much pressure on yourself. Just stay cool. Stay cool. Have fun. I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. And when I picked her up, I'm like, we're going to have a good day. Spending any time with Charity, you know, I mean, when, when you know what she's on, she's on. If she was having a crash, oh, just having a good time. So, you know, again, I was really confident that she was going to, she was going to put herself in the best position to be competitive. What, what does it mean to you to be able to, to share the All-American stage across the country with Awesome. I think we are showing what Ball State can do. We're putting Ball State on the map. I've known that she's had the ability to come to Nationals and that she's a straight power athlete. And I said, we are both going to go. So I'm very excited that she could prove me right <laughs> and that we both could go. It was such a great moment. Like she said in the beginning of the year, she said that, oh, we're going to Nationals and just to be able to do that and just do so well. Even before we started, I was watching her jump and I was just rooting for her and watching her do well and you're just like, okay, she did that, now it's my turn. So it just really brought up the energy and just helped me go into the 800 for the good past few minutes. The thing about Janelle that's really exciting and she touched upon it is just the growth in her just overall confidence in, in what she's doing. You know, she is, is, is one that is very, um, very driven very uh, competitive, you know, I'm looking at them at the high jump at, at, the, at the national meeting, I just hear people are clearing bars, she's like, okay, you know, she's just kind of shaking her, okay, all right, just keeps going out and competing, and again, I think that's kind of been the mentality of our program this year, just next person up, let's keep competing, so it's been fun to, fun to watch. Why is all of this important to you? Um, God, honestly, because I, like I said, I wouldn't be here without him, and I never really truly like knew what what it meant to do something for God and not for myself and sorry I'm good emotion. <laughs> so I've always it was always just like words to me and I would like I would always say that to myself but it always I always turned it out to be about myself or like I didn't do as well like why why is this happening saying those thoughts and like words and comments I made it about myself again and so I just went in this competition and I was like I am really going to do it for God this time. So I was just out there having a blast. I was, like, I was having fun before I was clearing the high bars, like just helping other, like helping encourage others. Because like I know how it is to be nervous and put too much pressure on myself. And I wanted to help take the pressure off of other people. And honestly, this girl, it really meant a lot. Like she was just looking around and she like, she came up and gave me a hug. She's like, I just really needed a hug from somebody. And like she talked to me at pre -lens. So I love that I can help maybe like inspire and encourage others. I felt like I could actually truly give, give all my worries and very excited that I could just go out there 
and it just happened to come with an NCAA championship. Yes. <laughs> what about the overall experience at the championships is going to stick with you the most? The sense of pride in Ball State is what's going to stick with me the most. The sense of accomplishment, achievement, and just being so proud of not only myself, but of charity. That's what I'm going to remember the most about this weekend. How does it sound to be a first team All-American? That sounds very good. <laughs> Having the success that this program has had all year long, you know, I look back on it, it, it was kind of par for the course, right? We were going to do some big things. You know, one of our team mottos this year was, why not us? Right on us, you know, and being able to embrace that throughout the year. And, and uh, what we wanted to do is say, let's focus on the, the individuals in this room. The, the 24 individuals in this room, are, you know, we believe that we can win. And that's all that really matters. The team, the people to your left and the people to your right. And understanding, like, we are doing this for each other. Me and Janelle is just the start of both State. Like, everybody's really going to come together. There's going to be more national qualifiers, and it's going to bring in a bigger crowd is going to bring in more people, attract more people, more recruits, um, wanting to be a part of this program. So I think it's just going to continue to rise from there. And it really means a lot to kind of leave my last year and like making a big mark like I said I wanted to. So. And I'm, I'm proud of this, this program. We are on the right path to uh, continue to make this uh, something that we do for, for years to come.